Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Forty-seven. This is one of the Mumbai chores. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. Might be worth looking into. Well, well. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. A local hitman known as the Kashmirian is in Mumbai on business. He set up a sniper nest in a tower above a stairwell in the local chawl. It appears he's targeting the luxury apartment belonging to Darwood Rangan, but has encountered a problem. Perhaps you can assist him. Good thinking, 47. Now, if we could only make Rangan appear in that window somehow. Karen Dahl, aka the Kashmirian, was born in the US, but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago, following an FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters. But who would want Rangan dead?
I mean, how long can it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. 70% of the work is finding the right colors. If only I could compromise... Upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. It's me. Just to let you know that the house artist is ready to continue painting. Hi, sir. Hey there. Oh, I'm sorry. I got you confused with someone else. Mr. Hossein, ready at last. Uh, did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rankin. Hey, man. Hey there, sir. Right, 47. Let's see if the aim of our Kashmirian friend is true. If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. All right. Chalo, let's get this done with. You know, that is Darwood Rangan, sure producer of mediocre of movies and a full-time criminal. His brutality is overshadowed only by his giant it. ego. Your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, hmm? well, let's not overdo it. Huh? You know? I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> but sometimes, exposure can be worth more than just money. Because in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. When you're done with this job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? <laughs> Thank you. That shot came from the Chawls. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? Hold up, 47. The Kashmirian is on the move. He's heading for another flat inside the Chawls. This might be worth investigating. If nothing else, we may get a lead on who his client is.
The Kashmirian is moving to an apartment in the Chawl. It's facing the laundry area. I suggest we find out what he's up to, 47. It appears the Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here. It would all be over quickly. So, the Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily used as a laundry business. Interesting. It recently changed ownership and now belongs to Vanya Shaw. It looks like he's found a new target and is waiting for her to get on the bridge. Perhaps your mentoring days aren't entirely over yet. The new foreman looks to be a dedicated worker. He hasn't left the office since he got here. Oh, no, no. That's not it. I was up there in the office when he came in. One of the guards told him that the slum queen wanted to talk. Where the papers are. If I could just find them, it would make my life a lot easier. Fixing the fuse box just in case anybody was wondering.
What's up? I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? What are you here? He's still in the office. I know. Who are you calling lazy? I work 15 hours every day. Aha, pata hai. Just relaying the words of Miss Shah. I think she's hoping this new guy will be liberal with his belt. If you know what I mean. <sighs> Great. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. People like us don't have a say in those things. We just do it. Hey, oh, buddy. Shane. Work fast. Aja, it's just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Better get your shit together if you don't want to end up like the old foreman. Samja? So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the Queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. <sighs> the new foreman finally graces us with his presence. What do you have to report? Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vanya Shah out into the open. Anything could happen here. I see a lot of dead weight. Hmm. I've made a similar observation. Tell me more. Well, I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace? Taking unnecessary breaks, drinking my water, wasting my money. You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Huh? That is Vanya Shah taking care of 47. Looks like an accident. Are you planning on outsourcing all your work to the Kashmirian from now on? The Kashmirian is on the move again. It's paid off to wow. follow him so far. Maybe he will lead us to the Maelstrom. 47, the Kashmirian is on the move again. He looks to be leaving his apartment, possibly the trawl itself. I suggest following him to see where this will end. Hi, uh, whatever. I cannot believe that would.
Fixing, fixing, fixing. Why? Why the hell am I talking to myself now? That's enough from you. Hi there. If you want to pass, you need to be frisked first. Is that a problem? Just stand still and it'll be over soon. Okay, go on then. So, you're the one who called. The boss was intrigued. He'll see you. Better make it good. I'll do my very best. Come with me. Mm. Hey! All right, it's just in here. Good luck. I'm not being touchy, but I need to pat you down if you want to proceed. Okay, let me just pat you down here. All good, brother. On your way now. Time to face the dragon, 47. The mysterious stranger enters the lion's den. I guess you know who I am by now. The Maelstrom. Indeed. Two of my most trusted allies are dead. Childhood friends, lifelong companions. And now you're here. I always see my contracts through to the end. <laughs> Admirable. Really, it is. I'm assuming Vanya put out the initial contract that drew you here. She never did like Darwin. Perhaps a power play while our plans are in hiatus? But why kill her then? Unless... Unless Darwood made a counteroffer. That would be the smart move. But then you heard the rumors about the return of the Maelstrom. And so you took a chance. You figured if Darwood was assassinated, I would put two and two together. Eventually, I would have to teach the Slum Queen a lesson. You took it upon yourself to help me before I asked. A show of skill. A move to get to the top. Is that right, boy? You can only kill so many mobsters before wanting bigger challenges. Darwood and Vanya lost their way once they returned here to Mumbai. I blame myself for their failures. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Going somewhere, sir. You need a taxi. 